Hello, it's Roger Parkinson from C Parkinson Barry Limited, Plumbing and Heating Engineers. Uh, number five now, I think, in a series of short videos. This time we're going to be looking at a Siemens Rev 24 and just trying to give you some general indication on how to set it up, uh, how to operate it. So, if you want to just take a look, what I'll do is I'll pop this screen open because it just glares against the camera. Hopefully you can see a bit better now. Down this side, uh, the main settings where we'll start is there are five different modes that we can have this time clock programmable room start, sorry, set up in. Um, top one, auto. The second, exception day. You have continuous comfort, or continually on. Energy saving mode, and we have frost protection. I'll explain each of those in a little bit more detail shortly. What we'll do though firstly is start with auto and show you how to set this time clock up. We have a slider bar at the bottom. Slide that all the way across to the left. What you see now, we have the flashing time on the 24 hour clock. If you want to change that at all, we use the plus and minus buttons. If you want to change it a bit faster rather than going minute digits, press and hold and the time will shoot up. I'll just show you. That. I'm pressing hold to alter the time forwards and backwards. Next one along, we have the day, the date, the month, and the year. So we just set it up, it should be set up already for you. And then we have block or day as the next selection. Now, what this clock has the ability of doing is setting you up on a general working week one to five Monday to Friday we can set up six and seven the weekend or we can go through and set up each individual day if you have a varied work pattern you're out on certain days you're in certain days you can go through and actually set up each day uh, different from uh, the next Next we move along to uh, the comfort pattern, which is basically the on off times. Now you see at the moment now it's flashing, indicating that we're on two comfort patterns. We get the choice of one comfort pattern, two and three. So basically we've got one on off time, two periods where we're on and off, and three periods. Now, generally most people go for the two period setting, so we'll set it up as that. We slide across the next, and we're now flashing with the first period, first on time. Again, wanting to alter that and change that, it's going to go up in increments of 10 minutes. And we can get it to where we want. We move along to the next one. We're telling it what we want the target temperature to be within that, that period that it's coming on for. So we'll have it set at 20 degrees and then we're wanting to tell it what the off time is. So in this instance, it's going back off at eight o'clock. So just to go back on that, we're coming on at six o'clock. We're telling it we want it to be 20 degrees and we're going off at eight o'clock. That's the first time setting set up. We move on to P3 and that's, as you can see flashing now, the time it's gonna come on in the evening, five o'clock. Saying again, we want it at 20 degrees and going off at 10 o'clock in the evening. It will correspond and flash on your program setting as to exactly which one you've got it on. We'll move to the next one. It says pass. Now, the reason it says pass is because we've only chosen two on off times. So we've set up one and two. It's not going to let us set up three because we've made an earlier selection of two. So wherever it says pass, it's due to an earlier selection. So those next three will all say pass. Next, we move on to energy saving temperature. So what we've got is we've got a setback temperature of 16 degrees, which when we go to bed, we can switch it to 16 degrees and just say we don't want it at 20 degrees as we set up. We're quite happy with it being a bit cooler. And obviously that's going to save on your energy. Lower gas bills, it's not achieving a highest temperature. 
Next, we click on to holiday start date. Now, this gives you the facility of setting up the dates while you're away on holiday. Uh, we don't want the heating system coming on, heating the house up while we're away on holiday, wasting us gas while we're not here. So we can put in the holiday start date. The temperature we want it to get to, which is generally less than when we're here, because we're not here, we don't need the house to get up to the same temperature as when we are. And then we've got our holiday stop date. Unfortunately, when you're coming back, and it's just going to then revert back to your normal program. The last one uh, is to be set up with a telephone line. Uh, obviously, you haven't got it in this instance, but you can actually set these up with a telephone line so you can remotely input and change your settings on your time clock and your temperatures. Lastly, we click into run. So now what we're going to do in this auto setting is going to run to those times we've just set up. So on the display, it's telling us that it's currently uh, 19 degrees. It's telling us the room temperature is currently 19 degrees. It's 4 o'clock and we can see from the display here, it's going to come on at, at 1700 hours, 5 o'clock in the evening. Now, mold button down. We'll go down to exception day. Exception day is maybe you work a week pattern where you take every Thursday off. So you can have that exception day set up for that day. Rather than go through and program every day individually, you can just set up that exception day. Switch it to exception day on your day off if it's not within the normal program. Next one down, we have continuous comfort mode. Basically means the clock's on continuously. While you've got a demand on that clock, your heating's going to be on. Energy saving mode. Again, we set that up earlier. We're looking at 16 degrees as it is set here. So we can toggle using this button between, uh, on the auto setting, sorry. We can toggle between the override setting and the setback temperature. energy saving mode. Down to frost protection. Uh, quite a handy little thing on this time clock. It's got uh, frost protection. If you click it and leave it on that frost protection, what it's going to do is it's going to ignore all your time settings, your temperatures you're wanting to achieve, but it's basically going to give you that backup of uh, a frost start where it's going to bring your heating on if your temperature internally drops below five degrees. So if you're going away at a period where there's a chance there could be a cold snap, some really bad frost, snow and such, if you stick it in frost protection, it'll basically protect you and hopefully you won't have any incidences of frost bursts in your house. The heating's going to come on and protect you. Okay, well, hopefully that's just taking you through and showing you everything on this time clock. Um, Hopefully you understand it a little bit better now and how to work it, but if there are any questions at all, please just post them in the comments box below, and as soon as I can, I'll get back and get those questions answered. Thanks very much.